Hey Vikes, today we have some more new teachers to talk about. And we're going to talk about the new movie Venom. No, not the poisonous Venom. We're talking about the anti-hero Venom. We are Cody. We are Morgan. And your daily news starts right now. Hey Morgan, I like your outfit. I like yours too. I actually got mine from your closet. Wow, what a coincidence because I got mine from your closet. You know what we can't find in our closet? So, new teachers. We went and talked with Mr. Sturbins and Mrs. Bond to learn more information. If you haven't noticed, many new teachers are around the school. SVTV caught up with a few to learn more about them. I was at Holden High School and Middle School for 18 years before this. Uh, I coached football up there for 14 years, and I pretty much started the theater program up there as well. Uh, so that's where I was at before I came to Seaman. I was really looking for a new challenge. I had gone about as far as I could with the program up there and uh, wanted to test myself at a bigger school with a, a bigger program. So I actually did my student teaching here at Seaman in 2000 with Marilyn Faree. So I fell in love with the school and the school district then. Um, it's changed quite a bit since I was here in 2000. Uh, yeah, it's very impressive. You've, we've got a great student body, very supportive administration and teachers here as well. How do I like teaching here? It's terrible. No, I love teaching here. It's been fantastic. The students have really accepted me, which is kind of the biggest challenge when you come in in the position I'm at, but I've had a great time so far. Gosh, I really just kind of want to establish, you know, where I want to see the program go. It's difficult to do the first year, but uh, uh, kind of just establish what we're going to do and uh, really get to know the students and the faculty here a little bit better. Another new teacher, Mrs. Sturbins, is having a great year so far. We caught up with her to learn more about her. Um, I came from KU, so that's where I went to school. I just graduated. Um, my experiences include student teaching in the Olathe School District. Um, I was actually friends with the previous director who told me about this job, and she really suggested that I go for it. She said it was a great job for right out of teaching, and I agree. I really like teaching here. I get to see a whole bunch of students from ages 6th grade to 12th grade, so I get a great range there, and everyone's just really energetic and enthusiastic and ready to play their instruments. Um, I want to survive, which is a good thing, um, but I just want to get to know everybody better. I think my first year is about making relationships and, and um, learning to trust the students and having them learn to trust me as well. My favorite thing is definitely the students. They're just so enthusiastic, ready to learn, um, ready to go. They're super respectful and they can try so hard when, when they're ready. If you haven't already met them, be sure to welcome all the new teachers around Seaman. That was really cool. Now for the rest of your announcements. Leadership students are selling t-shirts for the anti for anti-bullying month. Pay the bank and bring your receipt to Amanda Small or Alex Koopfall. Spirit wear order deadline has been extended to the 17th. Senior Roman t-shirts are on sale now. Cost is $14 to $18. Pay the bank and bring your seat to Reagan and Bond by October 19th. International Thespian Society is hosting a canned food drive during seminar. Donations will be accepted through October 31st. There is an upcoming volunteer opportunity at the Topeka Zoo. Check Schoology for more information. Logan Elementary is looking for volunteers to assist with students on Wednesday afternoons from 4 to 5 in the library. There is a choir concert today at 7 o'clock in the auditorium. If you have applied to work in the Viking Brew, go to Mrs. Abel's room in W3 to pick up a teacher evaluation form. Students who wish to improve their ACT test scores plan to attend the Power Prep Workshop on October 25th in the auditorium. The deadline to register is October 18th and the cost is $45. Seaman players will be performing their own comedy show tomorrow during seminar. Sign up to help with our pledge card drive next week in the school G group. Now, over to Morgan with sports after the break. Did you hear about SVTV? What do you mean? 
You can tweet a picture at CBN News to get featured on SVTV. I gotta call Ruben about this. Hey Ruben, you know you can tweet a picture at CBN News to be featured on SVTV? Oh really? That's exciting. I'm jumping off the walls. I've never been this happy. He never gets this excited. I knocked my water bottle down. I'm so excited. Tweet a picture at Seaman News to show your Viking pride. Hi there, Ruben Moore is here. Many think you know me from our water bottle commercial. Truth is, I can never actually get water anymore. I just want something I can use to fill up my water bottle. For the longest time, I thought it wasn't possible to fill it up anymore. But since I've been using eHall Pass, that's all changed. Thanks to eHall Pass. Make sure you use eHall Pass to get around the school. Tonight is Cancer Awareness Night for the boys soccer team versus Washburn Rural. The first 50 students with their ID after the JV game will get a free shirt. Make sure to come out and support. Now over to Josh Duncan with the weather. Good afternoon to you. We are tracking another cool day outside and I wanted to update you on the drought monitor. So Friday through Tuesday our total was 6.8 38 inches of rain, but yet we're still in a moderate drought here in Shawnee County. Even a little severe drought hanging around just to our west, but the bottom line is we're still in a drought, so it's going to take some more rain to overcome this entirely. Looking at Michael now, this made landfall yesterday around 1 o'clock near Panama City, and at the time it had winds of 155 miles per hour. That is two miles per hour shy of being a category five storm. It also made it the strongest hurricane to make landfall in the continental United States since 1992 when we had Hurricane Andrew. So a pretty historic day yesterday for the Florida Panhandle. But back to local weather today, 51 degrees for our high will be, be, be there after school and for after school activities. But for the soccer game tonight after sunsets, Temperatures will begin to fall back down into the middle and upper 40s. Heading out the door tomorrow, it is going to be a wet drive with rain moving in from west to east across the state. This will not be super heavy rain, but could be moderate at times. And taking a look at the amounts, we could be seeing a quarter to a half an inch of rain Friday morning. What, all, what, all, what else does that mean? Well, we're getting at the yellow light on the road to school tomorrow. Just take it slow, maybe give an extra minute as we'll likely be like dealing with rain out the door tomorrow. Otherwise, temperatures in the low 40s, so it is a chilly morning as well. Heading into Saturday now, this is probably our least chance of rain, but there is still a chance, mainly to our west. We could have some isolated showers getting this far east as well, maybe for the K-State game as they take on Oklahoma State, but it's probably going to hold off until a little bit after that. And of course, what some of you have been waiting for, the snow chance moving in as we head into Sunday night. Now, this is a tricky forecast, as all snowfall forecasts are, but I think the best chance will be in the central and western portion of the state. However, after midnight, we could see a few sneaky snowflakes trying to mix in with the rain Sunday night. Of course, no accumulation is expected, as temperatures will actually stay above freezing, or at least that's what I'm expecting right now. And now, for your SBTV 7-day forecast, you can see that we now have three days with highs in the 40s in the forecast. Friday, Sunday, and Monday, with of course that snow chance, Sunday night. Now, back to your... Hey Cody, who's the Venom character you've been talking about? Well, he's a character from the Marvel Universe who takes over Eddie Brock, who is played by Tom Hardy, and he is known as a symbiote. We go to me for more of this story. We are Venom. With the recent release of Venom, a movie about an alien life form known as Symbiote that uses a reporter by the name of Eddie Brock as his host, I go to some of our students to talk about what exactly is Venom. Venom is like, he's an alien from a different planet. It's a symbiote that takes over 
Eddie Brock. While this is his own series, this isn't the first time he has shown up in movies, comic books, or cartoons from Marvel. As most people may know him from Spider-Man 3. Um, I watched Spider-Man 3, and uh, he, Venom was in that movie, and then I just watched the previews for the movie on TV. Uh, I first saw the trailer on YouTube, and I was like, this looks pretty good, so then I went and saw it. Uh, I thought the movie was pretty good, and I thought the character was, it looked pretty cool, and uh, it was pretty scary, so. Some people might think of Venom as a hero from the movie, but his actions within the movie and how he acts speaks otherwise for some people. I would say at first he's a villain, but he kind of he gets better throughout the movie. Anti-villain, because he fights bad guys, but he doesn't always do the best thing. He doesn't always do the right thing. He still kills like innocent people, I guess. With an ending scene hinting at a sequel, very intense action, and an intense plot, Venom is a very intense movie with Venomous sequels to come. Cody Kaiser, SVTV. We'll eat both your arms and then both of your legs, and then we will eat your face right off your head. You will be this armless, legless, faceless thing, won't you? Rolling down the street like a turd in the wind. What the hell are you? seems pretty cool. That's all we have for today, Bikes. We hope you have a very venomous day.